A very good day to people. My name is Mohitin Guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a play button and a different button which is a stop button uh, without Action Script 3. So sound control without Action Script 3 guys. Uh, let's start. Let me first change the color of the stage to let's say this color. Alright. Then uh, I need to draw two buttons guys. One is the play button, one is the stop button. Right so let me hit the rectangle tool guys making sure that the color the fill color is the pound sign triple three triple three and hitting the or pressing the shift key down i'm going to draw a perfect square like so All right guys i have a very bad aesthetic sense i'm not an artist uh, you'll have to manage with whatever i make all right after that guys uh, let me hit the free transform tool and uh, pressing the shift key I'm gonna rotate it by uh, 45 degrees like so okay then after guys what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make another rectangle but this time I'm gonna change the color to a different color it could be any other color which should just should be a different color and then let me draw a shape like this I'll tell you why I'm doing this will be very clear very soon okay thereafter all I need to do is I just need to click on this uh, triangular thing and pull it out away from the green colored structure then I can uh, you know delete this uh, green colored rectangle and I was actually looking to get this shape and I actually needed to cut it out with the help of yet another shape which was of a different color that's how flash works guys anyway so this will work as the play button for me all right let me draw in fact uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna increase the width just a little bit yeah th that looks even better cool now let me draw uh, a stop button so pressing the shift key guys uh, uh, just change the color that's uh, this color isn't uh, what I really want so pound sign triple three triple three okay so this will serve as the stop button Hmm. I will do. All right. As I said, guys, I'm I'm not very aesthetic. I was I was never an artist. Okay. In fact, let me increase the width uh, for the play button even further. All right. I think this should be good enough. Hmm. Let me separate the two just that little bit. Right. Next, guys, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this uh, triangular shape that's going to serve as the play button. I'm going to say convert to symbol. I'm going to choose button, keeping the registration point top left. Wouldn't really matter uh, in this uh, case, actually. I'm going to say OK. All right. Guys, it's a button now. I've, I've not given any instance name because I don't want to. And for the simple reason that we are not going to use the action script at all okay I'm gonna double click I'm gonna go inside this button and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert it to a movie clip now so let me say right click convert to symbol and uh, let me say movie clip out here let me say okay right next thing guys I'm gonna hit this filters button now getting the filters was impossible without converting it to a movie clip first so I'm gonna hit the filters button let me click this uh, and let me choose bevel all right the moment I choose bevel guys you see that uh, the highlight color is white I'm gonna change that to let's say pound sign triple six triple six all right that's the first thing that I'll do and then guys I'm gonna go down to the down state out here I'm gonna press F6 on my keyboard all right and then go to the filters uh, section and this time I'm gonna make uh, a change the first change that I'll make is I'll decrease the the distance which was earlier 5 to a 2 okay that's the first change and uh, the second change that I want to make is I want to give it a glow out here in the down state I'm gonna add a filter a glow filter I'm gonna change the color I'm gonna change it to a uh, pound sign double nine double F double zero all right and as well as uh, I'm gonna increase the blur x and the blur y guys all right let's say to a 36 which is fine have a look at the the button guys 
right so let me go back to the main timeline and let me show you a published preview by hitting control end on the keyboard guys all right now guys i get this nice hand and this uh, finger pointing upwards towards the roof uh, that's because it's a button it doesn't happen so in, a, in the case of a movie clip and let me press and uh, show it to you so in the downstate guys you see the bevel uh, ensures that you get the the feel that the button has actually been depressed not only that you actually get the feel of uh, uh, you know you, you get the glow you get the nice glow in the down state okay guys since I've done all this uh, nicety all the cool effects to the button on the left the play button I'm gonna avoid doing it on the right button as I said uh, I'm really not a designer guys it I, I loathe doing such things it just isn't my <laughs> uh, forte so I'm gonna leave the right button for you to do whatever you want to do uh, and that should be it so let me get in the sound guys so that's a file import import to the library okay it's on the desktop I have a nice uh, soothing mp3 no not this one it's actually soothing music mp3 okay it's now they're in the library guys okay it's in the library now okay next guys I'm gonna double click on this button go inside I'm in the edit mode guys you can notice out here I'm in the edit mode and in the down state guys where you see this nice glow I'm gonna pull out this uh, soothing music and drag drag it and drop it uh, onto the state and if you notice in the house down state you have that uh, blue colored line indicating that uh, the music has been placed in the down state guys okay let me show you something alright if I select the down state guys out here you can actually see under sound the name is soothing music mp3 and guys what I'm gonna do is where you see the sync okay I'm gonna change it from an event to a start uh, out here it says repeat just once number of loops is just one which is fine absolutely all right all right then I'm gonna go back uh, to the main timeline by clicking this left button okay guys uh, <coughs> As far as far as this right uh, shape is concerned, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna say convert to symbol. Let me choose a button. Let me say OK. Keeping the registration point top left, I'm gonna double click. Go inside, guys. I can attach uh, the bevel and the glow, but since I've done it to the button, the play button, I'm gonna not gonna do it to the stop button. I'm sure you can actually do the same thing out here as well so I'm simply gonna go to the down state I'm gonna press F6 out here okay and then then guys and then guys uh, I'm gonna pull up this uh, soothing music dot mp3 uh, the same sound and I'm gonna drop it onto the stage making sure that the down state is selected guys for the stop button I'm gonna go to the properties tab okay make sure that uh, this uh, down state is uh, highlighted and this time see guys out here under the sound section you can see that the name of the, the music being played is soothing underscore music dot mp3 and um, I'm gonna just go to the syncs drop it down say stop and uh, I should be sorted let me go back to the main timeline let me hit control enter and test whatever uh, we have done so far and guys this is the play button this is the stop button and I'm gonna hit the play button now and uh, the moment I hit the stop button guys the music actually comes to a stop I'm gonna test it once again so that's a play notice the nice glow guys when I hit uh, when I reach the down state nice glow and then I'm gonna hit the, the stop button to stop the music so guys no action scripting was used at all I used buttons I used movie clips but I did not give them instance names so a very simple yet very effective tutorial something that uh, most of you would want to use I, I included that nice glow and the nice bevel to um, you know give it that nice effect but as I said I'm really not a designer you probably can do much better than what I've done so guys um, there you go I hope you learned something from it I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you very soon with yet another flash and action 3 tutorial you have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.